One of the goals of Liberty Athletics is the development of Liberty athletes as whole people on and off the field of play. For Liberty football chaplain Ed Gomes, servant leadership is one of the most valuable things he can communicate to his guys. But the way he shows it is somewhat unusual. Uh, sorry, I, I think I got the reservation set up. Yeah? Yeah, they funny when I walk in. In a good shine, you know, a good shine. After you get a good shine, all you should have to do is just brush it again. And you actually get a two for one. You know, how, how the shoe shine ministry came about is you have to be paying attention to what's going on around you. And so with a shoe shine box, you see people with shoes and sometimes uh, shoes are crying for polish. And so um, when they're crying for polish, I don't know side language, but when I see a pair of shoes and they need polish and they're crying, uh, I know exactly what to do. Being covered. That's so, why that's why I come to you, you know what you're yeah. doing. In fact, I don't want to. I don't want to show off. You know? And so, uh, I just felt like it was a way to build a bridge. It was a way to uh, ease in on a conversation with that person, get to know that person. Uh, while I'm shining that person's shoes, uh, I might ask them a question about where they're from, how they became a Christian. Uh, you know, what are they majoring in? Uh, what are some of the things that they enjoy? So it becomes a great conversation piece. While this small act of humility may seem insignificant, players and coaches alike recognize the power that it can have on the program. It's always important to be a servant. It's always important to give back to others, you know, and, and to know the lowest man on the totem pole, no matter who you are, and to love them just the same as everybody else, because that's what Jesus did. He loved everybody. He loved the least of these, and so that's what we should do. That's what we're called to do. And so for our guys to see that, I think it's instrumental in the example that is set for them, because then they begin to see that, and hopefully that's how they act in the same manner. Well, I think it's powerful, powerful message. Uh, again, we can stand up here and talk. A lot of times we give speeches, uh, uh, mom and dad, we talk to our sons and daughters and you tell them this, tell them that. But man, when your actions, when your actions speaks, uh, then that's more powerful than actually saying in your words. So I think them to actually see it, witness it, and then to see it consistently, uh, that's even more powerful as 18, 19, 20 year olds and, and seeing a person uh, that is serving the Lord. Again, like I said, he, he's not just talking. And while Gomes is having an immediate impact on his players, his hope is in a long-lasting change that will impact even more people in the future. You know, one of the things about the shoeshine ministry is that, first of all, you do it for the right reason. You don't do it to get paid. You don't do it to get a thank you. You do it because it's the right thing to do. And my prayer is that our student athletes will see someone who was willing to go beyond their position and willing to meet the needs of others and as a result of meeting the needs of others others be impacted